So now that you understand what expressions are, let's continue in picking apart this lambda expression. We've already seen the constant value 5 here, and we were able to build that up into a node. Okay, the node being represented by a constant expression object out on the heap. And two videos ago, I kind of drew what that would look like out on the heap. But I'm just going to kind of abstract that and say, hey, you know what, here is our constant expression node, and we know it's going to return a 5, and we can figure out that's an int, and the node type is constant because I I uh, wrote a 5 right there. Let's let's continue on, and, and from the previous video I showed you how we had to build up our expression tree, and before we actually build the greater than operator, let's do the expression which is on the left here, which is i, and i is a parameter. Okay, it is, a, it is an expression of type, of type int 32, Okay, in 32, but it's a parameter expression. So let's go down here, and just like we did with expression.constant, we assign the result or the return value of constant to a constant expression. I need to say per parameter expression. Uh, I'll call it i param. Yeah, it's expression dot parameter. Go figure. There's another factory method, which is a lot like just saying new for this, except instead of saying new, we're forced to say expression.parameter, just like we did with expression.constant up here. And let's look at the arguments here. The type, well, the type is going to be an int. And the name, what is the name of our parameter? It is i. All right, so there is i like so. And, and there we go. We can Further examine this i param, which is of type parameter expression, the same way we did with constant expression. Let's let's look at how i param, which is a parameter expression, is different than const param, which is a constant expression. We remember remember constant expression has the node type. So let's see if i param has a node type. It does. Okay. Let's let's uh, recall what node type is. I'll hit f12 on that. We see node type here is expression type. Let's hit f12 on that. And here is that enum with all these different types of expressions we can have in C-sharp. And from the previous video, you should understand that uh, expressions are things that return in place of themselves a value. And all of these types of things that you'll see in C-sharp um, uh, return a value. Not, most of them do. Almost all of them do. What do you think uh, parameter, what node type would parameter expression have? Do you see it as I scroll through here? Do you see anything that looks like it might be parameter? Let's go back all the way to main here. And let's just run this and see what the node type is. I'm going to comment these ones out just for now so we can see exactly what the node type is all by itself. Hey, look! It's a parameter. Okay, let's let's go here and control I, P, R, P, A, R, A, M, a parameter variable. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Parameter. All right, the node type is parameter. Let's see what else. I param, does it have a type? I wonder. Uh, console right line, I param. Type? Oh, it has the type, just like constant expression does. Let's run that. We see, oh, yes, the type is int32, because i is an int32. I said type of int, which is the same as saying type of int32. I hover over int, you see down there, struct system.int32. Okay, let's keep going. Console right line, i param dot, does it have a value? No, it does not have a value. Value is specific to a constant expression. That's it's the actual value of that constant expression. But i param, it will have a name. Okay, remember we passed the name of our parameter here. It is i, so let's run that. We see, hey, look, the name is i. All right, so i param is an object out on the heap that stores this data. It's just data, and I can draw it the same way I drew the const expression here. All right, we have the node type here. That is parameter. Parameter. Oh, it's hard to draw with a mouse. Uh, the type. Well, the type is the same as what we saw with our our a const expression. It's int 32. I'm just going to say int right here. And then instead of having a value like the const expression does, it has a name, and the name is i. I will even put it in quotes to stress that the name is simply a string. All right. If I Hover over name here. You can see name is a string. You see string there. Anyway, so there you go. And now I param references this object out on the heap, which stores all that information. It's it's purely data. Okay, it's purely data. We can look at it uh, via this way. 
so on and so forth. But, you know, let's abstract that idea a little bit more instead of doing this object like I just drew out here. Let me get all this off the screen. And instead, I'm just going to do another node here, and I'm going to say I right there. So we have two parts of our lambda expression here. And in the next video, guess what we're going to do? You can probably do it before I do it. Okay, in fact, I encourage you to do it. In the next video, do the greater than part. Right? Figure out what it will take to make the code to create the greater than node here and connect it with its two child nodes, the i, which is the parameter expression, and the 5, which is the constant expression. See you in the next video.